Now, one of the biggest upgrades to the iPhone 15 lineup of devices is the ability for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max to shoot ProRes RAW on the iPhone. iPhone 15 lineup of phones has been out for quite some time now. A number of creators has already created content talking about the specs on the new iPhone, what they think of the new iPhone, and also the camera capabilities the iPhone 15 lineup has to offer. I'm Siobhan Beckford, and in this video, I will be specifically talking about the new cameras the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max has to offer. Stay tuned. Now, one of the biggest upgrades to the iPhone 15 lineup of devices is the ability for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max to shoot ProRes RAW on the iPhone. We know ProRes files are large, coming out of our mirrorless cameras and cinema cameras. So to fix this, Apple also added the USB Type-C port. Well, it's not to fix the ProRes issue, they added it because the EU forced them to do it. But the Type-C port on the new iPhones will allow you to attach an external SSD to store your ProRes RAW files while you record because we know ProRes files are huge because they have a lot of data. So recording ProRes, you get to record in log profile. This is a new log profile that Apple has developed they have a conversion that you can add to this log profile to convert it to rec 709 but a lot of creators have been complaining that this log conversion lot isn't perfect and some of them do it by themselves from scratch and then after adding this conversion lot or doing it yourself from scratch you can then add your creative look similar to how you would grade any log format videos and this is a game changer for filmmakers and content creators on a whole. We all know the footage coming from a smartphone will look overly sharp, too digital, and just look weird when compared to the footage coming from your mirrorless camera or your cinematic camera. Well, with the log format on the phone, the footage looks a bit more soft and subtle and don't look too digitally crisp when you want to, let's say, add your phone clips to your timeline to blend them with the clips coming from your camera. With the log profile, you can also give them a similar look throughout when coloring your videos because you're starting from a flat profile, you just convert with a conversion lot and then add a creative look to the entire sequence. This is a true game changer. And we all know that log profile will retain more dynamic range when compared to shooting in normal mode on any device. This 10-bit video codec will retain a lot of color details in both your highlights, shadows, mid-tones, wherever in the clip so you can push your videos to the limit when color grading. Unlike what we could have done on previous version of iPhones with that 8-bit regular MOV file format, it was terrible. Now for the 15 Pro Max, we have a 48 megapixel f1.8, 24 millimeter wide angle main camera. We have a 12 megapixel f2.8, 120 millimeter periscope telephoto camera. We have a 12 megapixel, 13 millimeter f2.2 ultra wide angle camera. And with this new camera system, Apple has also added up to 5x optical zoom. This is still kinda inferior to Samsung's 10x optical zoom, but with Apple's software optimization and post-processing, the footages coming from this 5x optical zoom are almost on par with that of the Samsung 10x optical zoom camera. The iPhone 15 Pro Max also has a sensor almost the size of one inch. In reference, 
one inch is the same size you would find on a GoPro, a DJI Osmo Action, or the DJI Mavic 2 Pro or Air 2S. Those devices I just listed all use a one inch sensor. So for reference, that's similar to the sensor size in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So that's an improvement because the bigger the sensor, the more light it can absorb and thus creating a more appealing photo or videos. Who needs the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max? Well, I would honestly say persons who create content and edit more in depth than just the average content creator who just shoot videos and post online for like vlogs and so on. If you do a bit more cinematic sequence filmmaking, the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max especially would be perfect for you to add that ProRes RAW feature to your workflow. It's just a phone, it is tiny, it fits right in your pocket. You don't have to add any lens to it or rig it up. All you need is an SSD for the extra storage and you're good to go. You just learn how to shoot manual. I mean, if you're a filmmaker, you would already know how to shoot manual in pro mode. And you edit your videos to your liking and you can work wonders. Posting on social media, very few people will be able to tell the difference between the clips captured on the iPhone 15 Pro Max versus a camera, let's say the Sony A7 IV, the Lumix S5 Mark II, the Canon R6 that's how good the clips look coming from the iphone 15 pro max in prores raw so if you're one of those kind of persons the upgrade is great and it will help your workflow a lot if you're just the average user you just get a smartphone to take a couple pics record a couple videos or you vlog from time to time the iphone 15 15 plus is perfect and since the iphone 15 lineup is now out the iphone 14 pro and pro max will be an affordable price you can go ahead and grab any of those devices instead of spending the extra cash getting the 15 lineup of devices or if you want to upgrade from the 14 pro 14 pro max to something bigger and better you can grab something from the 15 lineup of devices if you have the money to spend but that's pretty much it there is not much of a difference coming from the 14 up to the 15 apart from the camera improvement, the titanium everyone is all hyped about, which means nothing to me. And also the dynamic island on all the devices, which are little to no massive upgrades if you ask me, apart from that ProRes RAW feature though. I can't wait to get my unit here in Jamaica to go out and shoot some ProRes RAW videos on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So if you guys want to see more content like these, remember to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of the iPhone 15 Pro Max shooting ProRes RAW from a tiny little smartphone? Can you imagine? This is where technology is. So leave your thoughts in the comments. I will be releasing more videos like these in the future, especially when I get the phone in hand. Siobhan Beckford, stay tuned. Mercy. Thank you.